Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you some gameplay of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild running on my Steam Deck using Semu VU emulator. I've already shown you how to set it up via Emu Deck. Also installed an Emu Deck tool called Gyro DSU in order to emulate the gyro based controls of VU. I'll be running the game from an SD card. So first let me just show you the ROM location. Just open Dolphin File Explorer. Under removable devices, click on the primary section. It's your SD card directory. Here go to emulation. Open ROMs folder. Look for VU folder. There it is. Then just open the ROMs folder here. There's the game ROM for Zelda. Now games are copyrighted software. Legally you are supposed to dump your own game in order to play it using them later. So I won't be giving you any links to it. You are on your own when it comes to sourcing the game. Let me just show you the folder structure. Three folders are present inside the main folder. In the meta folder, this file should be present meta.xml. Now let me just show you how to add the game to your Steam library. Just open Emudeck. Then just click on Steam ROM Manager. Here click on Yes. If Steam is running in the background, Emudeck will close it. Here just click on Preview. Then just click on Generate App List. There you go, it found our game. So just click on Save App List. Done adding removing entries. Now just open Steam. Desktop mode. I have connected my Bluetooth mouse to Steam Deck. Just open your Steam library under the view section. You will find the game Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In order to use certain graphic packs in this game, we need to use an updated build of the game. I will be showing you how to update the game. We will also be showing you how to install a DLC. We can perform these tasks via the emulator itself. In this folder, I have placed the game's update file. In this folder, I have placed the game's DLC. Let me just show you the folder structure. In the meta folder, meta.xml file should be present. This is the DLC folder. Again, meta.xml file should be present. You can place these two files anywhere on your Steam Deck. I have just placed them in the VU folder of Emu Deck. In order to remove any stuttering cost due to shader cache compilation, I will be using pre compiled shader cache files. So, let me just show you where to place these files. Due to legal reasons, I can't share with you the shader cache file. So, this is the archive file. Just open it. There is the shader cache folder extracted. Open it. Copy this transferable folder. Go to your SD card, emulation folder, ROMs folder, view subfolder. Here open the shader cache folder. There is the transferable folder. Just paste it here. Give all permissions regarding overwriting, write intro. I have already done that. So once the transfer is complete, these two files should be present in the transferable folder. Let me show you their size 36.2 MB. Now let me just show you same use setting. Open it from Steam's desktop mode. Our game will be automatically detected by the emulator. Here you can see the emulator's build version 1.27.1 experimental build. So first I'll show you how to update a game. Just click on file here, then click on install game title updates or DLC. Navigate to the directory where you have placed the game's update file. Steam's keyboard keep on popping up randomly. Avoid it. Expand my computer. In my case, E drive represents the SD card. Emulation folder, ROMs, VU. This is the Zelda update folder. Just open it. Here select this folder. This has this folder structure. Go back, select it, open. It seems that the selected title is already installed. Do you want to reinstall it? No. In your case, the installation will start. After the installation is complete, version number will get updated. In my case, this is 208. It corresponds to the in-game build version 1.5. Need to do the same procedure for installing a DLC. Navigate to the directory where the DLC folder is present. I'll select this folder. This is its folder structure. 
it should contain the meta folder select click on open again same message it seems that the selected title is already installed do you want to reinstall it no in your case the installation should start after the installation is complete the lc version should get updated in my case here it is showing as 80 now let me show you the general settings just click on options then click on general settings first we have the general tab using the default settings then we have the graphics tab from here make sure graphics api is set to vulkan instead of opengl Basing set to off async shader compile setting enable this will help in reducing the stuttering during shader cache compilation upscale filter set to bicubic downscale filter set to bilinear full screen scaling set to keep aspect ratio then we have the audio tab api set to x audio 2 for both tv and gamepad i have set the device to primary sound driver volume maxed out then we have the overlay from here i have enabled these settings optional fps ram usage vram usage and cp usage notifications i have set the position to top left i'll change it to top right we'll get notifications regarding controller profile shader compiler account and debug settings left as this now let me just show you the graphic pack setting very important first just click on ignore this keyboard click oh my god just click on this keyboard icon here there you go so just click on download latest community graphic packs make sure steam deck is connected to internet it's looking for the packs no updates available i have already installed them just uncheck the install game setting from here now graphic packs for all of the games will be displayed if you check the install game setting graphic packs for only that game will be displayed that is installed on our steam deck so expand legend of zelda breath of the wild first we have the cheat section self explanatory now i tried using a few cheat codes from here they did not work for me i don't know what's the problem here then we have the mod section from here make sure these two mods have been enabled extended memory and fps plus plus you can read the description of the mod here extended memory adds an extra 2 gb of emulated ram then we have fps plus plus by default mode will be set to normal just change it to advanced settings in order to access these settings frame rate limit i have set it to 60 fps we can even set it to no fps limit for benchmarking 60 fps should be fine on steam deck now steam deck won't be able to achieve 60 fps for most part of the gameplay fps mostly stays within a range of 40 to 50 we can cap the refresh rate to 40 hertz in order to get a stable experience cutscene fps limit set to automatically limit in few cutscenes recommended setting static mode default frame average 8 frame average default fence type default moving on then we have the workarounds let me just expand this section from here i have enabled this one setting grass swing vulcan grass swing workaround for amd's vulcan drivers steam deck has an amd apu fixes some grass swing incorrectly in the distance when a vulcan extension is missing rest of the settings are for opengl or some other gpu so we can ignore them let me just minimize this section then we have the enhancement section for clarity i am using surfrost preset recommended depth of field enabled reflection set to normal reflections reflection range set to low for samples default anisotropic filtering set to ultra 8x default now guys i tried using the lowest preset was not impressed by the performance boost only gained about 3 to 4 fps and the game was looking ugly these settings make the game look quite good on steam deck and the fps never goes below 30 as well then we have the graphics section from here i have set the aspect ratio to 16 is to 9 you can select 16 is to 10 aspect ratio as well this will fill the screen completely but i observed some bugs related to the shadows that's why i am sticking with the default aspect ratio resolution set to 720p hd default you can try increasing the resolution from here if you want this will increase the load on the gpu anti-aliasing set to normal fx aa default shadow set to medium 100% default shadow draw distance set to high default 
so now i'm going to show you per game setting just right click on the game click on edit game profile general tab from here i have set the mode to multi core recompiler thread quantum set to 100000 cycles graphic tab graphics api set to vulkan shade ml accuracy set to true so that's it with the settings now i'll open steam in gaming mode in gaming mode you can launch the game from its individual title or the emulator itself i'll just open the emulator let me show you its steam input profile emudex mu make sure you select it now guys i have set the uma buffer size to 4 gb so I file set to 16 gb now let me just enable one plugin open the quick access menu i'll be opening system toolbox techie plugin from here i'll enable these two settings doing this basically enables the huge pages setting whenever you restart your steam deck this setting will get disabled i can move the pointer using the right trackpad in order to simulate the left click mouse button just need to press and hold the steam button and then press the right trackpad there you go in order to simulate the right mouse click you just need to press and hold the steam button and then press the left trigger just click on start 